Right. Now, health experts say a child in Africa dies every 30 seconds from malaria. Saturday, April 25th, marks World Malaria Day, a time to consider how much progress has been made in eradicating the mosquito-borne disease. VOA's Melinda Smith has details. Those who promote awareness of malaria say there is much to be proud of, but much more should be done to meet United Nations goals by the year 2010. 700 million bed nets treated with insecticide are to be handed out in countries where malaria is endemic. Half of those nets should go to people in Africa. 200 million doses of medicine are needed to treat the disease. 200 million homes should be sprayed with mosquito insecticide on a yearly basis. This year, experts say at least $5 billion will be needed to control malaria worldwide. Add another billion to that figure for the year 2010. But according to Sarah Brown, the wife of Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown, the real cost of malaria is paid by children and pregnant women. The cost of losing mothers in pregnancy and childbirth, half a million every year, 15 million more seriously injured, also means that those mothers are not there to ensure that their children are vaccinated, that they're educated, not even there to help them put up their bed nets. Brown was at a gathering of anti-malaria activists in Washington, D.C. The activists and members of Congress urged greater U.S. help in funding malaria control, as well as the development of a vaccine to eradicate the disease. Melinda Smith, VOA News.